Welcome back for another Wind Down Wednesday. Today we're gonna do some um, yoga with, or some chair yoga. Um, I'm actually doing this in the school building. Again, just to prove that you can literally do this anytime, anywhere, um, especially while you're at school, allowing yourself to unwind. So I'm actually gonna do some chair yoga while standing. So a few poses that we can do with our chair is a simple cat-cow standing. So we can put our hands on the chair, lean forward, inhaling to drop our belly, lift our head, exhaling to really round through the back. So you can use that for like some cat cows. You could also just allow yourself to hold onto your chair as you stand tall, lengthening up through the spine, or even allowing yourself to exhale and come down. So allow yourself to come down to just allow your spine to, to straighten up, maybe drop your head, Maybe even doing some head circles or moving your head side to side. You can move back and forth with inhales and exhales if you're really wanting to go for more of an energizing. If you're wanting something a little bit more calm, you're just gonna hold it for a few breaths. You can also use our chair to, back this up for a little bit. You can also use your chair to step on it and kind of come into something that looks like a lunge. Maybe a little back bend, right? And then of course, making sure that you do both sides. That's one option. If you really wanted to deepen this, um, if, if you're able to, doing that same thing and really leaning forward really leaning into that lunge, backing up that back leg. Could feel really nice. Could be a nice little hip opener. Could feel it in like the inner thighs, doing both sides. But again, just adding some movement. So again, maybe inhaling to come up, exhaling to bend or sink forward. Awesome. Could always use your tree uh, use your chair to help you with tree pose. So using your chair for balance, lifting up your foot, bringing it anywhere below or above the knee, and simply using that chair to help you with balance, experimenting with the hands, maybe resting the hip on the chair for some balance, and of course, doing it on both sides. So experiment with the chair, see where you can place that knee, or um, allowing your hands to rest on it as well. It could be the foot, it could be the knee, anything can be resting on the chair. But your chair is a great way to just help give you some assistance when trying to bring some mindful movement into your body. And if you prefer to just sit, a lot of those poses can be adapted so that you are still sitting. So like our seated cat cows, right? So inhaling to chest forward, dropping the head back, exhaling to round through the back. You can use your chair for a twist, left hand, right knee. Using the back of my chair, I can help deepen my twist. All right. And then of course, just taking a moment to sit, maybe bring your arms all the way up, maybe going in for that back bend. And then exhaling to just fold forward. So many different things that you can do with your chair um, for some mindful movement, for some winding down time, if you have some free time in uh, your classroom. Um, shout out to the SCEA, to the NEA, and to Cool for allowing us to have this little mindful wind down Wednesday tips. Of course, if there's ever any type of yoga, um, sequence that you'd like to see if you're wanting more active more more slowed down let us know in the comments below or send us a, a message always happy to help hope you have a great rest of your day hopefully you're able to use this within your classroom so that you can decompress and wind down together let's take a deep breath all in through the nose exhale out your mouth awesome see y'all next wednesday